here against Charlton. Now, two strange sides. Tranmere struggling. Charlton becoming a draw specialist just at the moment. Yeah, Charlton have been on, obviously went on a very good run and put themselves into the playoff positions. Um, but at the moment, they're going through a, a, a period where they can't actually win games. They, they've, Kinsella scores a great free kick there to peg themselves back into this game. And then they actually get themselves in front. Lee Byrne, who's, who's actually been out of favour for most of the season, pops up with his first goal and to put Charlton in front. And I think, realistically, if they're going to be staying in the playoff positions, they've got to kill those games off and win them. Well, Tramir's trump card this season has been Lee Jones. We already saw him get the first, and he pops up again with another good finish. Eight for the season for him, and with David Kelly injured at the moment, those goals are priceless as far as John Aldridge is the table and those two stay in the bottom two Huddersfield still looking for their first win of the season Manchester City down there in 22nd they will climb above Tranmere and Ipswich if they win today Reading and Oxford both with 14 points then come Norwich Berry and Crew, who all lost yesterday QPR 14th a big win today will lift them to 7th more realistically they can go 8th and Port Vale top of the bottom in 13th Birmingham have slipped after that bright start, haven't they? Down to 12th. Wolves dropped a couple of places to 11. Stockport back up to 10th and Sunderland into the top half of the table again. Stoke slipping down two. Middlesbrough up to seven and looking dangerous for the second third of the season. Sheffield United's first defeat of the season meant they dropped from second to sixth. Charlton down one to fifth. Bradford up three to fourth. West Brom up two to third. Steve McMahon, Swindon still there in second place. But Nottingham Forest lead the way, two points clear with a game in hand.